is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new wrestling action figure playset for you guys, and it is the brand new ringside exclusive AEW Authentic Scale Ring. And if you guys would like to grab this yourselves, you have to do so from Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com, where you can use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% over there. This is a ringside exclusive, so you're not going to find this on shelves at Walmart. You're not going to find it at Target, Toys R Us, RIP. I think the last Authentic Scale Ring we got was the WWE version, but that was a few years ago, and I know you could find that at Toys R Us. You could find that at certain places. This is a ringside exclusive, so the only place you can get it is WrestlingFigures.com, and I have been waiting on this thing forever, not only for the ring, guys, but we also have a brand new Kenny Omega All Elite Unrivaled Collection figure over here that we're going to crack open and also compare to his other AEW figure, and we're going to get all the stuff here. So we're going to build this ring up. We're going to take a look at all the details with it. We got to take you guys through the packaging before we get into it, so let's go ahead and dive into that. So on your front viewing window, guys, you obviously have all of your different figures here. We do get a look at the Series 2 on Rival Collection, Pentagon and Phoenix right there, so that's pretty cool. AEW apron, ring steps. Over here on the side of the packaging, it does say everything that it includes. So it says authentic scale ring, 22 by 22 ring, flexible ropes, authentic AEW details, fabric ring skirt, and rubber turnbuckles. You also get an AEW logo here, authentic scale ring, ringside exclusive logo on there, and it's not actually a sticker. It's actually on the packaging itself. On the bottom there, you get TNT logos and stuff. In the top right-hand corner over here, you will notice that it says over 35 pieces, 12 rubber turnbuckles, one-to-one -one scale to figures, easy to assemble, and then you have your beautiful image of Kenny Omega inside the packaging right here with blonde tips and highlights in the green and black attire looking absolutely beautiful. Down here, it does say exclusive figure included. On the side of the packaging, you do get this nice brick wall with AEW logo and authentic scale ring. On the other side of the packaging, you get the exact same thing, and spinning it around to the back, you have another image of the ring with more figures there. It looks like it's the exact same figures on this side here. It says the same thing it says. You got the Ringside Collectibles logo, another AEW logo, and then in the bottom corner it does say Watch AEW Dynamite. Well, that pretty much does it for our packaging for the AEW Authentic Scale Ring, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and crack this hoe out of its packaging. All right, guys, so here is all of the contents of the box out of the packaging. You guys can see here we got all this good stuff going on, all your pieces here. And then we have the two pieces of the canvas that we will assemble. I do want to break down everything here and tell you everything that it comes with. And, of course, you have to include the ringside exclusive Unrivaled Collection Kenny Omega figure that I think you can just peel out of the packaging like so, I think. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, there is the Kenny Omega figure. Comes just like that. You don't have to use any zip ties or nothing like that. He's just in there and you can just pull him right out. So if you buy the ring, you do get the nice Kenny Omega figure. And what we'll do is we'll probably take a closer look at this closer to the end of the video. But just a quick little review here. I, I like all the green that we got going on with it. It looks nice. I like all the colors that we got. The head sculpt is a little bit differently because they included the blonde highlights in the hair. So that is very nice to see. But we'll worry about the Kenny Omega here in a few. But like I said, you do have your baggie full of like turnbuckles and all the pieces that assemble the ring and then over here you have your ring skirt and you have your canvas and then you have your steel steps and everything like that so I guess what what should we do guys should we just do a little time lapse video of me assembling this thing I think we should so with that being said guys let's go ahead and time lapse me building this thing and putting it together
so here is the AEW Authentic Scale Ring, all fully built there. It took me a minute. I'm not going to BS with you. The first time that I built the ring, I, for, I, I forgot to put the ring skirt on, so I put all of these turnbuckle things on, and then I realized, and I had the ropes built too, then I realized that I didn't put this on, so I had to redo it and then re-put that on. I probably could have done it from the bottom, but I, I just redid it. I just redid it, and I, I effed myself up. But anyways, guys, you, can, you guys can see here the ring is built. It's it's very, very similar. It's legit the same exact ring, pretty much. I think the turnbuckles are a little bit different, and then the ring skirt is obviously AEW instead of WWE, but it is pretty much the exact same ring that we got before. Wicked Cool Toys. Wicked Cool Toys made this one as well. They're the same ones that made the WWE ring before. Not the main event ring or the SmackDown ring that we've gotten with the Goldberg and the Jinder Mahal, but the one before that I was talking about that sold at Toys R Us and places like that. This is the exact same ring there. And if you guys want to see what figures look like in this ring or on this ring, you guys can see here. Here is Nick Jackson on the middle of the apron and then we can put Matt Jackson right beside him and then you guys can see Chris Jericho right there so you guys can kind of see the scale wise we are going to put him in the ring as well I've never been a huge fan of the authentic scale ring I feel like it's probably too big um, I just feel like there's too much room in there that's why I use the Jack's real scale ring but it's still a really good ring and if you guys want the AEW process and stuff you don't want to track down the Jack's version you don't want to track down a custom AEW ring skirt for that Jack's version this is an awesome piece and you also get your ringside exclusive Kenny Omega figure and that is probably worth the purchase as well. I think this figure is going for like $80 or more on eBay right now because people didn't want to pre-order the ring and I understand it. You know, you don't want to pay for a whole ring but now you got to pay for a whole ring for just a single figure. So, I mean, you got to you gotta make choices there. But uh, what I want to do is I want to get in here on all the details, show you guys the turnbuckle post real quick and I also want to get inside the ring so you guys can see. So, I'm going to change camera angles and we'll check it out in a minute. God dang, Matt Jackson, you stupid. Alright guys, so here is the Young Bucks in the ring as you guys can see here just kind of the sizing and the difference in the size of the ring compared to the rest of it and it's I mean it's big man like say they were locking up in the middle of the ring right here you would see that they still have a ton of space around it I mean I guess it's it did it, it, it definitely works like if you want this ring I totally understand it but I think for me the only thing I've never really liked about the authentic scale ring is how much space there is here and I, I don't know if you guys can even see it on camera it kind of looks like it's pretty good but I'll show you guys you guys have probably seen in the pick fed and stuff like that my ring space Spacing is a lot different. I do want to see what the AEW Authentic Scale Ring looks like in my arena though, so we will take a look at that before we get out of here, but I do want to lower this because I want to do a comparison and a quick review of this new Kenny Omega figure that we are getting with the ringside exclusive here. So taking a look at the Kenny Omega figure, guys, one thing that you're going to notice immediately about mine is that the eyes do have the little misprint failure with it, so you guys will see here on the eyes, the eyes are clearly not printed on there correctly. You guys can see they're printed on there just above there, and I Another thing I'm not really big on is the fade in the hair just looks weird, right? Does that not look just weird to you? Like, I don't know, man. That's just odd. Like, it looks fine from the front, but then when you look on the side, like how it looks like it's just one big circle of black, and then it looks like another ring of blonde, and then it kind of ends there. I don't know. I, I think that's very, very odd. But if you guys want to see what this looks like up next to the other Kenny Omega figure real quick, um, I guess we can save that. We can save that till we get done with it, but this is pretty much the exact same unrivaled Kenny Omega figure, except the tights are different, and then the hair definitely has the more details there, but going down, you do have these beautiful neon graphics. I love this attire. All of Kenny's attires are pretty fire for the most part. You got the serpents going down with the lime green. You got K Omega on the butt. You got more serpent stuff going on right there. I love this like electronic. It kind of reminds me of like inside of computers or something. It's kind of what it reminds me of right there with all the Omega logos and the lime green. I love the brightness and the saturation of the colors there, so it's a very nice attire. I definitely like it. And if you guys want to compare it to the pink version, there you go. So you got the pink there. I feel like the, the saturation on this should have matched the saturation on this. Like, I love this, but I feel like the saturation would have been pretty nice to see, but they're both great attires, and you guys can see there is the Kenny Omegas next to each other, and if we get in here and we take a closer look at the head sculpt, you guys can clearly see that the eyes are definitely not online. They kind of look odd or something like that, but um, if you guys want to see what a head swap looks like between the two and see what the blonde head sculpt looks like on the pink attire, we can do that real quick. So popping that head off there, and then taking this head sculpt and popping it off and then popping the blonde head sculpt onto the pink attire. I know a lot of people are probably going to be wondering what this looks like and there you go so that looks pretty nice right there and get a little more zoom out right there. Yeah I mean I'm, I'm digging that man. I'm digging that even though like even though like I said it's kind of weird with the ring on the back. I don't think as long as you're not looking at it but I honestly feel like if you just hand painted or custom painted this head sculpt it would probably look just as good if not better because that, that ring thing just looks odd to me. I don't know what's going on with that but that is your ringside exclusive Kenny 
skinny Omega figure and I guess I can just stick this head sculpt on here. See what that looks like. So now we have like our fix up there. So you have our, I, I guess this is what fix ups will look like in the future. So they, they haven't quite fixed the skin tone just yet on the new Kenny Omega right there, but I cannot wait for the next Kenny Omega. But I, I'm digging like the non-blonde head sculpt on this green attire. That's kind of, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of doing it for me. Got a little something special going on there, young man. But anyways, guys, that does it for our Kenny Omega review. So with that being said, guys, I want to see what the ring looks like in my arena. All right, guys, so here is the authentic scale ring in the MDT arena. As you guys can see, I filled up the whole ring with all of my AEW Unrivaled collection. I think I'm missing maybe one of my Jerichos, possibly another Cody and Kenny, possibly. I, I, I don't know, but you guys can see here we have the ringside exclusive Kenny in the middle. You got the Bucks. You have all of Un Unrivaled Series 1 here. Kenny in the back in the first one. You got the other Bucks there. And then we have some other guys here. Kenny running on the apron so you guys can see kind of how a guy fits on the apron. You can fit both guys on the apron, no problem. Jericho over here on the turnbuckle. So yeah, that pretty much does it for the AEW Unrivaled Authentic Scale Ring. I think it looks good. Here's like I, like I said, here's a good shot of everybody in the ring so if you guys can kind of make your own decisions on you know how it scales with the figures and stuff. I think it looks good, especially when you got multi-men in there. I think it works out pretty good. I like it. I think it's nice. It seems pretty, if you've ever had the WWE Authentic scale ring before, I could say with confidence that it is pretty much the exact same thing. I'd say 98% the same exact thing. Maybe the turnbuckles are a little different. Maybe one or two changes here and there, but for the most part, I think it is pretty much the exact same. Here is the AEW ring skirt on there, if you guys were wondering, and I think that is going to do it for the review on the authentic scale AEW ring. Thank you guys so very much for watching the video. Let me know what you guys think of everything down below. Did you guys pick up the ring? Did you get it just for the Kenny? Let me know everything down in the comment section below, as well as let me know if you like the Unrivaled Collection Kenny. Do you guys like the AEW Unrivaled 1 Kenny or do you like the Ringside Exclusive Kenny better? Let me know down in the comment section below. But that is going to do it for this authentic skill review, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.